The high health authority here in France has decided to roll out its vaccination campaign against COVID-19 in five different phases, giving priority to different categories of people because in the first place, there simply won't be enough vaccine doses for everyone. So they're set to start with the most vulnerable people. So elderly people, for instance, uh, living in care homes, but also uh, later to extend it to healthcare workers and then people living in precarious situations. Now the calendar of vaccination of these different phases is not yet known, but we know that it will depend in a way on the rate of production of those vaccines. It's also set to be a huge logistical challenge because the one candidate vaccine that is set to get the green light from the European Drug Agency first is the U.S. pharmaceutical company Pfizer in collaboration with BioNTech. And they actually use a technology that is very new. It's pretty much gene therapy. So you use a genetic material that needs to be manipulated uh, very cautiously, but it also needs to be stored at very low temperatures. So so at around minus 70 degrees Celsius. And the French state says it has already identified 130 facilities that can be uh, that can serve to, sor to, to store those different vaccines. Uh, the French state is also set to rely a little bit more this time around on general practitioners uh, because back in 2009, when a scandal uh, rocked France, the scandal of uh, the vaccines against the swine flu, they actually set aside all those uh, uh, family physicians. And that was one of the reasons why why the vaccination campaign failed.